Hi, today we are going to ground to your complete circuit of energy in the earth and we will do that through the 10th chakra. The 10th chakra is an energy center that is located a foot and a half below your feet. One of the rapid eye founders discovered it. There's a number of chakras or energy centers throughout our system. And this one, the 10th, that's below your feet, is your outlet, is your connection to the electricity in the earth. So you plug a lamp into a wall, and that outlet is the way you get the electrical force moving through the lamp for light. A 10th chakra is the way that we plug in to the electrical circuitry in the earth that gets you grounded and fully present and connected to your power. And this 10th chakra gets blocked and clogged and doesn't function very well. And it's one of the reasons that we cannot ground or we don't stay grounded. So what we're going to do today is experience an actual rapid eye session. This is called the quick 10th chakra. So we're going to go through a short chakra session, releasing blocks, releasing the energetic, emotional components that are blocking the 10th chakra, preventing it from functioning fully and keeping you from grounded to your own energy field. We're going to first release, and then we will go through and put some positives in. We will reframe that chakra with a higher frequency that allows that center, that energy center, to be open, flowing, vibrating at a higher rate that allows you to be more grounded. And we'll begin with a, a, um, a visualization, an imagery. You get to have this session. You get to have this video. And I would invite you to use this particular session at least once a week. It's going to be about 15 minutes, maybe 20. Every, every week, at least. Sit and ground. The more you do it, the more you will be able to stay grounded in the presence of stress and distressors. The more powerful you'll be begins with an imagery, as I said, and you can use the imagery by itself. You'll learn it pretty quickly and use it every day. Use it at night before you go to sleep, in the morning when you wake up. Use the imagery to ground. Use it in the middle of the day. You get stressed at work. You start noticing you get frantic. Take a minute and do this particular imagery for yourself. And then once a week, sit at home and do your 10th chakra. Clear that 10th chakra and plug into your power. All right, here we go. We're going to look, this is my eye directing device that I use in rapid eye sessions. And you don't have to worry about watching it. I'm just going to use it because it will be directing energy for us. And so you're going to find a spot straight ahead. If you have glasses on, take them off. If you have contacts in, take them out. Find a spot in the wall right in front of you. Not a mirror, anything but a mirror you can be looking at. And you're going to blink rapidly like this. Okay, it's rapid eye technology. So you're blinking rapidly in this way. And what that's doing is, is just clearing neural pathways in the brain, quite simply. Right? Looking straight ahead and blinking. And we're going to set the intention for this session. It is my intention, repeat after me, it is my intention to release anything blocking my 10th chakra and keeping me from being grounded into my own energy with grace and ease. And now close your eyes, stop blinking. Take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Imagine a shaft of light right in front of you. Allow yourself to move into the center of this shaft of light. This shaft of light is coming from the very highest place, from source, from your source. This light flows through your physical body, out the ends of your feet, down through that space, 18 inches into the earth, foot and a half below your feet. And it continues flowing down into the center of the earth to a point held there that uniquely belongs to your energy system. This shaft of light is a continuous movement flowing up from the center of the earth through that point, about a foot and a half below your feet, up through your physical body, and through the top of your head, continuing to flow through all time and space to your beginnings, to pure light, to your source. 
In this space, imagine planning your whole lifetime. The DNA patterns that you've come to experience and heal. Notice what higher purpose or learning your soul seeks to acquire from these experiences. Flood this space beneath your feet, called your 10th chakra, with pure light from source. And bring in the higher purpose for each experience you've come to have in this lifetime. Bring your awareness and focus to that 10th chakra below your feet. Flood it full of light breathing through the bottoms of your feet. Imagine that you can breathe through the bottoms of your feet. Dropping down and connecting to that tenth chakra about a foot and a half into the earth. Now ask your deeper mind and highest self, are you occupying that space 100%? Yes or no? And opening your eyes now, looking straight ahead, regardless of what the answer is, we'll address it later. Opening your eyes and finding a spot in front of you and blinking. This blinking is going to empty neural pathways in the brain that are actually stopping this tense chakra from fully functioning. So just blinking. And standing in your own shaft of light, just keep blinking. Begin standing in your own shaft of light, releasing not wanting to occupy my space. Scared, verbal abuse, never good enough, spacey, unfocused, changing my mind. Blink it all out, let it go, delete it, and we activate pure light. Blink into everywhere I've just released. I am bringing in more light and unconditional love to occupy that space. I hear all things with love and kindness. Blink it in, blink it in, blink it in. Releasing, shutting down, bad, lost, stored pain provoked, unable to deal with the stress, overloaded, old patterns returning, lack, can't survive. All the times you reacted this way, release it from the neural pathway in the brain and activate your divine remembering. Blinking into everywhere we've just released, remembering this is all just an experience. I am more than my experiences. Blink it in, blink it in, blink it in. Releasing the pain and the pre-existence. Scared. Changing my mind. Can't do this. My choices haven't always worked. Lack of daily energy. Shutting down to feel safe. Disgust. Unable to maintain boundaries. Don't like the results. I don't know who I am. Let it all go. Let it go. Let it go. Just keep blinking. Activating the entire body to release it. Blinking into everywhere you've just released. I am bringing in more light and unconditional love to occupy that space. I see myself and others with love and compassion. Blink it in, blink it in. Dissolve and release patterns in the DNA. Karma, cause and effect. Unable to change. Why me? Absent from your body. Overwhelming fear. Blocking spiritual from the physical. Impossible to fulfill my purpose. Blinking it out. Blinking into every cell, remembering all this is just an experience. It is not who I am. I am more than my experiences. I am fulfilling the measure of my creation. I'm abundance of all things. I'm releasing all resistance to the light. Blink it in, blink it in, blink it in. Blinking out and releasing the inability to express pain, feeling stuck, poor self-care, health issues, Taking in other stuff as your own. Discouraged. Powerless. Life is pain. Deep grief. Release it from both parents' DNA lines, past, present, and future. Releasing, hanging on to feeding my beliefs. Being stuck. Ungrounded means that we are stuck. Releasing, stuck. Blinking in. Blinking into every cell, I am releasing all resistance to the light. I'm releasing the patterns from the 10th chakra, the DNA strands, and I am occupying my own space. I am serving my highest and greatest good at all times. I am processing my experiences differently now, receiving new information, accepting the accountability of my choices. I am in harmony with the rhythm of oneness. Blink it in, blink it in, blink it in. 
And we're just going to break it up, break it up, break it up. Just keep blinking and break up all that energy standing in your shaft of light, breaking up the heaviness. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Everywhere I've just released, I am bringing in more light and unconditional love to occupy that space. I am grounding to my own circuit of energy. I am occupying my body. I am occupying my life. And release it to the light, release it to the light, release it to the light, release it to the light. Look to your left now. We stop blinking for a moment and look all the way to the left and to the right. Left brain, right brain communicating. Looking all the way to one side, all the way to the other. Asking questions, getting the answers. Honor, release, resolve. Honor, release, resolve. Honor, release, resolve. Stop tracking and squeeze your eyes tight open. Squeeze tight open, squeeze tight open. Squeeze, keep, as, as I say squeeze and pull, you're going to squeeze and open. When I say pull, open your eyes. Squeeze and pull, squeeze, pull up the pattern. Pull up being stuck, pull up ungrounded. Pull up the fear, pull up unfocused, pull up out of harmony. Pull it up from the DNA, pull it up from the RNA. Pull in more light and unconditional love to occupy that space and pull. Take a nice deep breath and release it to the light. One more time. <coughs> big breath and releasing it out. And one more time. Nice big breath and let it go. Close your eyes and breathe clear through your feet into that 10th chakra. Breathing out of the bottoms of your feet down into that 10th chakra. And notice now, are you occupying that space more, less, or the same? Flood that chakra full of pure light, grounding here, filling it completely with your energy. When you're ready, Open your eyes. Learning from the physical level, what's the higher purpose of learning? Getting it into the body, receiving it, getting your own answers and your own connections. Just keep blinking as we come out a bit and your field to the emotional level. Noticing what's held there, getting new feelings, bringing them back to the body, getting it, getting it, getting it. Learning from the mental level in your field. What thoughts and perceptions are held there? We're going to trade those out and get new thoughts, new perceptions getting it back in the body, blending with the emotional and the physical, learning from the spiritual level, seeing the higher spiritual purpose, the whole eternal picture, getting it, get it, get it, get it into the body, return for further light and knowledge, connecting to your soul's purpose, grounding to your circuit of energy in the earth, getting it, getting it into the body, return one more time to activate your spiritual circuitry to the body, creating clear communication from the highest source, Getting your own answers, your own connections, bring it back to the body. Get it, get it, get it. Taking a nice deep breath. Recycle all that energy and breathe it out to the light. And just keep blinking, bringing back to your body. I am processing my experiences differently now, receiving new information to assist. I'm accepting the accountability of my choices. Nice big breath. Gather up everything we've just processed, recycle it, and release it out with a big breath. <sighs> Looking into every cell, I am aware and in touch with my spiritual contracts. I am able to choose again. I am happy to be here. I am thriving on the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual levels. Making connections and completing the circuits, past, present, and future. Take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm releasing it all out. Bringing back universal love and light through all the layers, levels, lifetimes. Making connections and completing the circuits, past, present, and future. I am balanced. I am grounded to my complete circuit of energy. I am perceptions transformed to truth. I am free. I am one with all creation. Take a deep breath, gather it up, and breathe it to the light. Good. Balancing, balancing, balancing your system. We're just going to get all this energy connecting to the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual levels. Back again through the system. Good. 
Very nice. All right. And now with your eyes, make a figure of a figure eight right in front of your face. You can follow the wand. Figure eight. All the way down to your feet. And a figure eight. Coming right back up. Being in your column of light, fully grounded, anchored, clear. All right. It's a quick, rapid eye session. In this moment, notice how you feel. Did you yawn? Yawning is a really big sign during a rapid eye session that you're releasing energy. Are you feeling lighter, more clear, maybe a little sleepy? Sometimes sleepy, heavy eyes means that you released a lot of heavy energy and it's fine. It'll, it'll clear up in just a few moments. You might feel very alert, much clearer, lighter, as I said. Do this often and you'll start to notice how much more clarity you have. And you'll start to notice those places in your life where you felt stuck are moving. All right. I'm going to give you a bonus video that's going to take a more in-depth visualization and imagery for grounding and getting you more solid into your body. All right. Okay. There you go. Stay grounded. Stay in your power.